In between the world of the car and the carry is the wonderful world of carts. For those who enjoy walking but don't wish to carry and choose not to use a caddy, there is a wide variety of pool or push carts and motorized carts available to serve the golfing public, assuming, of course, that the golf facility you frequent allows them. Early manual carts were heavy and less maneuverable than today's models, which make use of newer, stronger, lightweight materials that are much more user-friendly. Manual carts can be priced anywhere from $30 all the way up to $250. Some are designed to be pushed, some pulled. Less expensive models will usually be made of heavier die-cast metals or stainless steel, with more plastic components, including the smaller wheels and ball bearings. High-end models will be more durable, made of lighter weight aluminum with larger wheels and steel ball bearings. Be sure to try them out for fit and feel, and if mobile, make sure they're easy to retract and fit comfortably into the trunk of your car. Want to get rid of the push and pull? How about a power walking cart? What separates most power walking carts is the control mechanisms. Low-end models might be steered and have variable speeds to match your gait. Don't expect to pay less than $500. And if you don't want to push, pull, or steer, how about fully remote? It's actually better than walking and riding because you can walk and you don't have to carry your bag. So more like having a caddy on the Pro Tour for the amateur players. Is there any terrain they can handle? Uh, most of the terrain that you'll find on any golf course, they'll be able to handle uphill, downhill, side hill lies. Pretty much where we're going to hit our balls, the caddy will go. So how does this mechanized looper work? Well, we can actually run the caddy by hand controls. There are yardage settings on the hand control to allow the operator to let the caddy go 10, 20, 40, 60, or 100 yard distance settings, uh, dynamic brakes, and yet we can override any of those functions and mix and match with hand control or remote control. Left turn, right turn, speed control, and dynamic braking uh, for both drive motors. If it happens to stray onto a green, the way the wheels are designed, is it, is it going to damage the green? No, it won't. And that's one of the beauties about the Caddy is uh, there's actually less soil compaction with the Caddy with a full set of bags than what there is for you or I walking down the fairway or on the green. Because the weight's <laughs> spread out over the three wheels and the wheels are wide and smooth surface. But how convenient and reliable is this modern marvel? It's, uh, it's pretty tough. It's all made out of aircraft aluminum and all heat-treated systems, so it's a tough, durable piece of equipment, but yet it's lightweight for folks to get in and out of their car and transport from home to the course. The caddy's actually knocked down into three pieces. The handles pop out, front wheel pops out, battery disconnects, and you can have it disassembled or assembled in about 30 or 40 seconds. Okay, I'm sorry. It, it wasn't you. You didn't give me the wrong yardage. I promise. Come on, come back. We're a team. We need counseling. This caddy may never take the place of its human counterpart, but who could argue with its quiet disposition? It was a knockdown eight iron. What are you talking about? Hey, hey, hey. You're the robot, I'm the human.